welcome to Zamora Gaming. I'm your host, Joe Zamora here, and I am bringing you the world of Pokemon Conquest. Um, as most of you may know, this is a 3DS game, and one of my favorite Pokemon side games. So I decided I would grace y'all with me playing some of it here. And, um, we're gonna go ahead and name ourselves Zamora for Zam- Eh, screw it. Let's just go with Joe. Short and sweet. And let's lowercase that. Alrighty, guys. So, we are entering the world of Pokemon Conquest. And, of course, this is a short story, but a great story. And... Honestly, one of the best side games ever. I'm really surprised they never made a second game to it. But you never know in the future. And sorry for the sound quality. It seems... It's kind of glitched out. But, um... Here we go with the little title screen again. Kind of... Gives us another little introduction into the world of Pokemon Conquest. And now we can officially start the story. The Kingdom of Aurora. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. Ah! So, this is our new... This is Aurora's new warlord? Hmm. Hey, is that an Eevee? That's a Pokemon you don't usually see around here. Hmm. Oh, shit. We're getting attacked already. Dot, dot, dot question mark exclamation point hey you you're joe right aurora's new warlord we're from ignis that's the kingdom next to this one and we've come to challenge you to a battle dot 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 exclamation point man we really have a lot to say all right guys so this game kind of just throws you automatically into a battle you just became Warlord, and already someone's trying to take over our conquest. Someone's, uh, our conquest. Someone's trying to take over our castle. I'll defend this kingdom with every end. To every end, I guess. Alright, to vic be victorious, we have to defeat all enemies. If we are defeated, all allies, that means all allies have been defeated. We have 20 turns to do this, but I feel it's not going to take that long. Heh, <laughs> there's only one of you, so this is going to be easy. Aurora is as good as ours. Sorry. That's my bad. Please wait. I'll fight with you. Oh. Well, the more the merrier. Join forces if you like. It won't make a difference. Sorry if my voice acting is horrible to start with. Okay, let's see. I'm going to kind of use my normal strategy. Oh, sorry guys. I'm going to kind of use the strategy I always use when I play these games. And this is basically just a little tutorial to show, you know, how the game is played. But uh, I kind of sit back of the first few turns, and I let um, them come to me into range. Well, I guess I kind of have to go here. And wait. But yeah, normally I make the, the enemy come to me first. Well, I feel sorry for you. Having just become a warlord and all, but you're gonna have to leave that castle in Aurora before you even settle in. Yeah, that's not happening. If these people take our castle, Aurora will be. All right, leave this to me. Okay, go for it. Even though you didn't finish your sentence. Oh, she's smacking that boy. I'll remember this, you know. Don't think I won't. You deal with that one, Lord Joe. Alright, so we get to deal with this one. Alright, come this way. I know how to play the game. No! 
Now's the time, Lord Joe. You have to fight. Well, that's what I was doing, lady. Point in the direction you'd like to fight. There we go. And we get a mighty quick attack off and take down the Tepig. Huh? What? I'll remember this, you know. Aurora Castle belongs to us. You're, you're so strong. Much stronger than they said you'd be. What are we going to do now? Lord Hideyoshi is going to be mad. Never mind that. Let's just get out of here. Oh, you link with Eevee, Lord Joe. It's already so strong. You might just be the one. No, sorry. I'm not getting married to you, lady. But our link with Eevee has become pretty powerful. So that's good for us. Alright, a little different playing this on the computer, but it's pretty fun. At least I just use a mouse for everything. You're a natural in battle, Lord Joe. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Oichi. I think. I've been on a journey with Jigglypuff here. But, but... Um, if, if you don't mind, I'd like to join your army, Lord Joe. Would you be willing to have me? Yes. Th thank you! I wonder if what happens if you say no. I think you still get stuck with there anyway. As a warrior, I will give you... I will give all... Ugh, I can't read. I will give my all in your service. But it is a worry. It seems the flames of conflict have finally reached Aurora as well. Uh-oh, what is she meaning? The Rensai region. An area inhabited by warriors. Those privileged few capable to communicate wordlessly with Pokemon. In Rinsai, there is a tale of yore, passed down from generation to generation. If any one warlord can conquer all 17 kings of Rinsai, then the Pokemon that created Rinsai shall reveal himself. The warriors of the land, and all believe the tale is true. Indeed it is what drives them all. And as a result, countless battles are fought for control of the kingdoms of Rensai. Well, that's, that's a neat little backstory they just gave us. Lord Joe, if we are going to help you defend the kingdom of Aurora, then Jigglypuff and I are going to have to become much stronger. But first, let's take a look around the kingdom of Aurora. Man, I shouldn't have given her that voice. Oh well, too late now. Select save or go to the menu to do all these other things. Alright guys, so we are officially started here. And we're going to enter Aurora to check it out. Lord Joe, there's a... Oof! Move, you're in my way. I I'm sorry. There's a farm not far from here, Lord Joe. I'm sure there'll be some wild Pokemon there. Let's go do some battle training. All right, let, 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 let's do it. Let's go. All right, guys, looks like we are doing our first little training exercise here. You're the warlord of this kingdom, Lord Joe. Jigglypuff now will follow your orders. So, what do you want us to do? Okay, let's see. So, I'm gonna send you. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you in, in spot. And then I'm gonna move you. There we go. No. Hey, wait right there. Let's see how this bid doof goes. Okay, so we're still out of range from getting hit. Do you know what abilities are, Joe? Eevee has one called Celebrate, and Jigglypuff has one called Lullaby. Abilities are something each Pokemon has. They are automatically active during battle when certain conditions are met. You can view the abilities that each Pokemon has by selecting Info under the menu. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and go over here. 
And we're gonna fight. And yep, we're gonna hit that sucker right there. And down goes Starly. Ooh, celebrate. It's a move again, so I'm gonna move right here. And now we wait. Then we move Jigglypuff over here to gain more damage because you hit harder from the side. And we're good to go from there. Uh, I do not believe five slaps will take this thing out though. Alright, now it's the enemy's turn. So it does decide to come over here and attack my Eevee. Alright, but now it's my turn. Fight. And down goes the Badoof. Victory is ours! And of course, Eevee gets more experience since it killed more enemies. Eevee and Jigglypuff are both looking a bit stronger, aren't they? The bond between a warrior and their Pokemon is known as a link. The more time they spend together, the stronger this link becomes. This will make the Pokemon more powerful as well. You and Eevee must be tired after that battle, Lord Joe. And Jigglypuff is looking pretty worn out too. I think we should take a little break. A warrior can do, can only do battle with their Pokemon or take them to a visit a location once in a month. Holy shit, imagine. When all the warriors in your army have moved, select next month to advance to the next month. All warriors have finished their turns. Advance to the next month. Yes. Kuroku and his lot useless losing against a complete beginner like that they need to get their act together I'm not letting them mess things up for me now I've got to make the kingdom of Aurora mine all right so he's pretty pissed off that we won so now it is February and we need a third person to battle them. Or not. I mean, we're, we're kind of on par with levels, but you know. Oh, look. Look, Lord Joe. That place looks like it'd be full of all Pokemon. It might be a good idea to do a little training. You know what? Let's go ahead and take... You know what? This is part of the tutorial. So let's go ahead and take... Oh, we can't battle yet. Oh, well. Well, at least the tutorial is not as long as... Uh, I guess we got to fight over here. No, let's just do it. Let's go! I'll show you what I'm made of. 70% water. Lord Joe, look over there. It's a whooper. It's a whooper. If I recall correctly, whoopers have water gun move. Some moves like water gun allow you to attack a wide area. Each Pokemon has a set move that they can use, so be sure to think about your tactics before entering battle. Thank you. Okay, so let's do this. Click here. Let's do top speed. Right, this should help our cause. Alright, we fight! And we hit 22, and it lives on one. Of course. Story of my life. But Jigglypuff can start coming this way. So it's enemy's turn, of course. And Whooper's gonna stay in the water there. Are you alright, Eevee? Lord Joe, at times like this, you should select the warrior option. You see, battles are just about telling your Pokemon where to move. They're also... Oh my god. It's a warrior's job to help up their Pokemon on the battlefield. You can use items 
and you can use warrior skills and I'm dragging on alright so basically she's just saying she has a warrior skill that can heal up our Eevee and we need to bring that whooper out of the water so we're gonna go ahead and get this item over here and that Meowth needs to come closer too alright so we took another hit of damage but that's perfectly fine Fury swipes does a decent chunk let's see if it hits all five times and it doesn't so we're good there oh and the ability to lullaby puts me off to sleep all right here we go so we quick attack the whooper and thanks to celebrate we can collect our prize oh it's a fragment all right guys double slap going here okay so I guess the double slap woke up that Meowth because <laughs> it woke up let's go ahead and try to get Jigglypuff a kill so it can get better link oh and it missed so much for that oh well Meowth goes down to a quick attack and we are flying through this tutorial alright so we got a fragment piece from that and that could be sold for high price which is going to come in handy later because we're going to need some uh, stones and now we have to fast forward through another month again you there you're Joe right hey Mits Mitsunari Masanari leave them alone Come on, Kyo Masa. We need to have a word with these guys, or they won't know what they're doing. Yeah, we hear, we hear that you're training your Pokemon a lot. But what for? What can you two hope to achieve? I, I. Well, they're right, you know. You have to do more than just train. Eventually, you'll need to challenge another kingdom to a battle. If you win that, the, you can. I can't read. You can get more, you can get some more warriors and Pokemon to join you. Jesus Christ, I suck at reading out loud. Strengthen your army and win battles. Those are the tasks of a warlord. But I'm sure you knew that much, right? Uh, well, I, Lord Joe, if you really want to become stronger, we're going to have to challenge other kingdoms to battle. I think this time has come for us to make our move. Select the kingdom of Ignis to challenge their army to a battle. Okay. You don't have to tell me once. Select warriors to take into battle against Ignis. Alright, so obviously we're taking Joe and we're taking Oichi. Joe's army appears in Hideyoshi, kingdom of Ignis. What can they hope to achieve? The Kingdom of Ignis. Hmm, you're the Ward Lord of Aurora. I never thought I'd see you over here. Well, two can play that game. If it's a battle you want, I'm ready. Fine, then a battle it is. But Lord Joe is going to win. Ho, ho, ho. Aren't you a cutie? I could do with someone like you in my army. Don't call me cutie. I will never fight for someone like you anyway. Huh? Oh, don't be so hasty. Once you see me in action, you might change your mind. Alright, I think it's time for battle, don't you? Oh, I mean, that's what we came for. All these voices are hurting my throat. I'll show you what I'm made of. And I know some of them might sound the same, but I'm not a professional. So, don't judge me on that. 20 turns left. Joe's army's turn. This is the Battlefield of Ignis. Pretty impressive, huh? The Pillars of Fire and the Magma will stop you from getting near me. But my Chimchar isn't bothered by things like that. Wonder what he can mean. Alright. Oichi, you can come over here. Stand there. Excuse me. 
Had Yoshi's army's turn. Sorry, the game's a little glitchy right now. But all in all, still good. Lord Joe, look! Whoa, it disappeared. It seems there are times when the pillars of fire disappear. Even and Jigglypuff can move across the area safely then. We're gonna go here and try to knock out this Bidoof. I've got big ambitions, you know. Ignis is just the beginning for me. Before long, all the kingdoms will be mine. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Heh, <laughs> how about this? Ooh. Cheeky bastard. Oh, that sucks. If your HP gets too low or you get a, a an ailment, you can always step into the puddles of water. Volcano has become active. Alright, so we are burned, so we're going to have to sit in this hot spring and waste a turn. And then we're going to come this way draw that chimchar in if we can can't go into the magma he's useless how, how can you say that about your own partner he's heartless all right so chimchar is finally stepping out of the magma just a bit oh but Badoof is gonna come with at us with the big old headbutt all right, good. We didn't get flinched, so we're in a good... Oh, and Tepe gets hit by the falling rocks. But as I was saying, we are in a good position here. And this is where... Okay, this is where our top speed's going to come in to play. And we need to hit... Honestly, let's just get this Bidoof out of the way. Alright, Jigglypuff, don't miss. Perfect. I'll remember this. Whatever, you always say that. Right then, how about this, huh? Alright, so he did something. Doesn't burn us, so we're good there. And, yeah, I assumed he'd go for Jigglypuff. So, I'm going to come back here. And attack him from behind, because that does more damage. Big ol' smackaroo. And I'm going to take a potion, because I don't want to waste Sweet Song just yet. Alright, three. Smack him up. Smack him up real good. Alright, he does set his blaze ability so his attack boosts. Jigglypuff gets hit by an uh, ember. And, oh, he, he takes a turn to heal up. Someone's getting scared. Let's see how much damage we can do here. Doesn't look like enough. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get some damage off here. Maybe we hit five times. One, two, three. No, nope, not enough. It does give it blaze ability again, though. And we get 100 gold. That never hurts. Oh yeah, we can take out this Tepig. 17 damage. Huh, what? I'll remember that. And celebrate lets me move again. Oh yeah. 
one of the best uh, abilities in the game. I'm surprised. It looks like he's given up. He could have embered us, but he chose not to. Alright. EV, time to take this thing out. And it does just enough damage. Looks like they got us. Okay, let's get out of here. Ignis Castle is ours. Victory! Hell yeah, we are getting up there in our links too. They have all gone off somewhere. My castle! How could I lose it? But I have made a vow. I will be the one to find the legendary Pokemon. And that means I will be back! Alright, go for it. I don't care. I just beat you now. I'll beat you again. Hideyoshi's army has been defeated and has been forced to retreat. Congratulations, Lord Joe. Your second castle. I'm sure we'll start making allies before long. The only thing is I don't know how. I don't believe it. You went into battle without knowing stuff like that? Oh, I watched your battle, Ignis. You're impressive for one so young. But if you don't even know how to make allies, then I guess you'll... You've got a long way to go before you can be considered a real warlord. Hey, don't look at me like that. I wasn't making fun of you. Tell you what, I'll teach you how to make allies. Alright, my name's Kiji. Kaiji. By the way, I'm just gonna go with Kaiji. Um, just come to Ignis Castle when you're ready to learn. Alright, the battle has been won. So now we can save. Alright guys, we seem to be pretty close to nearing the end of this tutorial. But I don't want the first episode to be too long. So I am going to go ahead and end the first episode here. Um, also guys, yes this is one of the first series I'm actually doing since I started recording again. Uh, so... I hope you're enjoying. Hope you enjoy Pokemon Conquest because this will be a fun playthrough for me to play and hopefully some great content for y'all to watch. So leave a like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook to watch live streams and follow me on Twitter. All those links are in the description below. And yeah, I think um, I'm pre-recording a few of these episodes and I probably won't upload them till the following week. But I do plan on uploading three videos a week, probably Monday, Monday, Friday, Saturday, or I might just do, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or, you know, something, something along those lines. But, um, uh, follow me on Twitter if you want to figure out that. Uh, more in depth I will actually contemplate maybe even doing five episodes a week so I could just do Monday through Friday but we will see so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time